Sayyid actor Hussein Rizvi, known as Kafi Azmi, the 14th of January 1919 to the 10th of May 2002, was an Indian Urdu poet. He is remembered as the one who brought Urdu literature to Indian motion pictures. Together with Prasada Qasim, John Elia and others he participated in the most memorable mashairas of the 20th century. Early life Azmi was born into a Shia Muslim family in the village of Mizwa in Azamgar district, Uttar Pradesh, India. Family Azmi was married to Shakat Azmi. They have a daughter, Shabana Azmi an Indian actress of film, television and theatre and a son, Baba Azmi Indian cinematographer. Career Writings At age 11, Azmi wrote his first Ghazal Eatna to Zindagi Mine Kisi Ki Kalal Paid and somehow managed to get himself invited to a Mashaira and over there, he recited a Ghazal, rather a couplet of the Ghazal which was very much appreciated by the president of the Mashaira, Mani Jaisi, but most of the people, including his father, thought he recited his elder brother's Ghazal. When his elder brother denied it, his father and his clerk decided to test his poetic talent. They gave him one of the lines of a couplet and asked him to write a ghazal in the same meter and rhyme. Azmi accepted the challenge and completed a ghazal. This particular ghazal was to become a rage in undivided India and it was immortalized as it was sung by legendary ghazal singer, Begum Akhtar. Azmi abandoned his studies of Persian and Urdu during the Quit India agitations in 1942 and shortly thereafter became a full-time Marxist when he accepted membership of the Communist Party of India in 1943. During this period, the leading progressive writers of Lucknow noticed him. They were very impressed by his leadership qualities. They also saw in him a budding poet and extended all possible encouragement towards him. Consequently, Azmi started to win great acclaim as a poet and became a member of Progressive Writers' Movement of India. At the age of 24, he started activities in the textile mill areas of Kanpur. As a full-time worker, he left his life of comfort, though he was the son of a zamindar. He was asked to shift his base to Bombay, work amongst the workers and start party work with a lot of zeal and enthusiasm and at the same time would attend mashairas in different parts of India. In Bombay, he joined Ali Sardar Jaffrey in writing for the party's paper, Kami Young. In 1947, he visited Hyderabad to participate in a mashaira. There he met, fell in love with and married a woman named Shakat Azmi. She later became a renowned actress in theatre and films. They had two children together, Shabana Azmi b. 1950, a renowned actress of Indian cinema and Baba Azmi, a noted cameraman. Poetry Like most of the Urdu poets, Azmi began as a ghazal writer, cramming his poetry with the repeated themes of love and romance in a style that was replete with clichés and metaphors. However, his association with the Progressive Writers' Movement and Communist Party made him embark on the path of socially conscious poetry. In his poetry, he highlights the exploitation of the subaltern masses and through them he conveys a message of the creation of a just social order by dismantling the existing one. Yet, his poetry cannot be called plain propaganda. It has its own merits, intensity of emotions, in particular, and the spirit of sympathy and compassion towards the disadvantaged section of society, are the hallmark of his poetry. His poems are also notable for their rich imagery and in this respect, his contribution to Urdu poetry can hardly be overstated. Azmi's first collection of poems, Jankar was published in 1943. His important works including anthologies of poetry, were Akhir-e-Shab, Sarmaya, Awara Saj, Kafiyat, Nai Gulistan, an anthology of articles he wrote for Urdu Blitz, Mary Awaz Suno, a selection of his film lyrics, and the script of Heer Ranja in Devanagari. His best known poems are Orat, Makan, Dayara, Saanp, and Bahorupni. Films. 
Osmi's work in films includes working as a lyricist, writer and actor. Osmi wrote his first lyrics for the film Buzdal, directed by Shahid Latif and music by S. D. Berman, released in 1951. His early work as a writer was mainly for Nanubai Vakil's films like Yaudi Ki Bedi Parvin Miss Punjab Mail and I. D. Ka Chand While directors like Khwaja Ahmad Abbas and Bimal Roy strove to create the ''new cinema'', writers like Sahir Ludianvi, Jan Nisar Akhtar, Majru Sultanpuri, and K. Fi changed the tenor and vocabulary of the Hindi film song, creating a fresh new wave in Hindi film lyrics that lasted many years. One, his greatest feat as a writer was Chetan Anand's Hir Ranja wherein the entire dialogue of the film was in verse. It was a tremendous achievement and one of the greatest feats of Hindi film writing. Osmi also won great critical accolades for the script, dialogues and lyrics of M.S. Satyus Garam Hawa based on a story by Ismat Chugtai. Osmi also wrote the dialogues for Shyam Benegal's Manthan and Satyus Kaneshwara Rama 1977. As a lyricist and songwriter, though he wrote for numerous films, he will always be remembered for Guru Dutt's Kaga's K. Fool and Chetan Anand's Hakikat India's greatest war film. Some notables films for which he wrote lyrics include Kora 1964, Anupama 1966, Yuski Kahani 1966, Sat Hindustani 1969, Shola Aur Shabnam, Parwana 1971, Bawarchi 1972, Pakiza 1972, Hanste Zakam 1973, Arth 1982 and Razia Sultan 1983. For Naunihal 1967, he wrote the song Mary Awas Suno Pyar Ka Raz Suno. Hear my voice, hear the secret of love, sung by Muhammad Rafi. The song is picturized over the funeral procession of Prime Minister of India, Jawahar Lal Nehru. Years later, after Azmi's own death, his daughter, Shabana Azmi, mentioned finding comfort in verses from the song. He also played a memorable role of Nasim's grandfather in Nasim. Osmi died on 10 May 2002 at around the age of 83. He was survived by his wife, daughter and son. His autobiography is included in a collection of his works, Aj K. Prashid Shayar, K. Fi Osmi. In media Osmi was the subject of a documentary film called Diksha directed by Raman Kumar. In 1997, he recited his own poems for Kafiyat, an audio book on his collected works. Kafi Aur Mine, a play based on his life, his works, and the memoir of his wife, Shakat Azmi, Yadin Ki Raguzer, Down Memory Lane, was written and performed by Javed Akhtar and Shabana Azmi, and performed in India as well as abroad in 2006. Two, another play, directed by Rani Balbir, Waqt Ne Kia Kya Haseen Siddham, based Kafi Azmi's life and writings, was staged in 2005, and received rave reviews. Three, Awards He was the recipient of Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award. Besides he was awarded the Uttar Pradesh Urdu Academy Award and the Sahitya Akademi Award for Urdu for his collection Awara Saj, Special Award of Maharashtra Urdu Academy, Soviet Land Nehru Award, Lotus Award from the Afro-Asian Writers Association, and President's Award for National Integration. In 1998, Government of Maharashtra conferred the Janeshwara Award on him. He was also honored with the prestigious Sahitya Akademi Fellowship for Lifetime Achievement. In 2000, he was conferred the first Millennium Award by the Government of Delhi and the Delhi Urdu Academy. He has also been honored with a doctorate from Vishva Bharati University, Santiniketan. 4. Topic: Tribute The government has also named a road on his name in the Rama Krishna Puram in New Delhi. Topic: <laughs> Sahitya Akademi Award. 1975 Sahitya Akademi Award, Awara Saj. 2002 Sahitya Akademi Fellowship, Immortals of Literature.
Topic: National Film Awards. 1970 – National Film Award for Best Lyrics, Sat Hindustana Famous Hindi Film Songs 1. Jeet Hai Lenjay Bazi Hum Tum, Shola Aur Shabnam 2. Jain Kya Dunta Raheti Hai, Shola Aur Shabnam 3. Waqt Ne Kia Kya Haseen Siddham, Kagaz K Fool 4. Deki Zamani Ki Yari, Kagaz K Fool 5. Jum Jum Dalti Riyat, Kora 6. Ye Nine Dare Dare, Kora 7. O Bekarar Dil, Kora 8. Zara Caahat Hoti Haitu, Hakikat 9. Kar Chael Hum Fida, Hakikat 10. May Ye Soch Kar Us K Dar Se, Hakikat 11. Piasi Herni Ban Ban, Du Dil 12. Sara Mora Kajra, Du Dil 13. Tara Husn Rehi Mara Ishq Rehi, Du Dil 14. Kuch Dil Ne Kaha, Anupama 15. Dear Dear Makal, Anupama 16. Ya Dil Ki Suno Dunyawalan, Anupama 17. Baharan Mara Jeevan B, Akri Kot 18. Aur Kuch Dur Thahar, Akri Kot 19. Mile na fool to kanto se, anoki riyat. 20. Mary awaz suno, now nihil. 21. Tamhari zulf k sayami, now nihil. 22. Tum se baikad k chain kahan, maharaja. 23. Tum bin jeevan kaisa jeevan, bawarchi. 24. Ye dunia ye mefil, here ranja. 25. Do dil toot do dil har, here ranja. 26. Milo na tum to hum gabre, here ranja. 27. Mary dunia me tum ai, here ranja. 28. Sim t c sharma i c, parwana. 29. Jeez din se main tum ko de ka, parwana. 30. Ye riyat hai piasi piasi, chahoti bahu. 31. Aj socha to anso bar aaye, hansti zakam. 32. Betab dil ki tamana, hansti zakam. 33. Tum jo mil gay ho, hansti zakam. 34. Hai tere soth mary wafa, hindustan ki kusam. 35. Har taraf ab ye hai afsan hai, hindustan ki kusam. 36. Hone Laji Hai Riyat Jawan, Naina 37. Jalta Hai Badan, Razia Sultan 38. Tum Eatna Jo Mukura Rehi Ho, Arth 39. Juki Juki Si Nazar, Arth 40. Koi Yi Kays Bataya, Arth Topic Select Bibliography Kafi Azmi Fan Aur Shaksiat Urdu, Meyer Publications, 2004. Kafiyat, Kuliyat e Kafi Azmi, Urdu, Educational Publishing House, 2003, ISBN 8187667788. Zare e Ishq, Hindi, Vani Prakashan, 2003. Here Ranja, Hindi, Vani Prakshan, 2003. Steel Man Was Here, Penguin, 2002. Kafi Azmi Selected Poems and Life Sketch, Rajpal Publishers, 2002. ISBN 81-7028-395-7. Aj K. Prashid Shayar, K. F. Azmi Chuni Wei Shayari Hindi, Rajpal and Sons, 2002, ISBN 8170285429. Mary Awaz Suno Hindi, Rajkamal Prakashan, 2002. Nai Gulistan Vol. 1 Hindi, Rajkamal Prakashan, 2001. Nai Gulistan Vol. 2 Hindi, Rajkamal Prakashan, 2001. Dusra Banwas Hindi, Diamond Pocket Books Private. Ltd. ISBN 81-288-0982-2. Awara Saj Hindi, Lakbarti Prakashan, 1995. Sarmaya Urdu, Meyer Publications, 1994, 5 Kfi Azmi, Symbol of Resistance, Ranjit Haskot, The Hindu, Sunday 19 May 2002, 6 Kfi Azmi, A Poet and a Gentleman. 
The Times of India, the 10th of May 2002, 7. Kafi Azmi, the last comrade poet, Tariq Omam. The Milli Gazette, 8.